Alright, welcome back to ITS Tacticals Knot of the Week. Today we're going to be going into a diagonal hitch, um, continuing on with our lashing series. If you're familiar with a timber hitch, that's how we're going to start this knot. And a timber hitch is essentially a, a hitch, but it's more of a tension hitch. So let me demonstrate showing you how to tie that because we haven't really gone into a timber hitch on our Knot of the Week series yet. So essentially, what you're going to do with a timber hitch is it's just really like a uh, overhand knot that's just wrapped, that's just wrapped a few more times. So a timber hitch. If you look at a regular wrapping, you're just going to take that working end of a timber hitch and you're just going to twist back through this part of the end about two more times here. So since there's no real way to tighten this thing, it really it's just getting held by tension. So you can see if we were to put tension the opposite end, it holds, but at the same time, you know, it's it's a very loose knot. Uh, it's one of the reasons we, why we haven't showcased the timber hitch on the knot of the week yet. It's just, I don't really care much for the knot. It's it's good in this case, tying a diagonal lashing, but uh, I prefer other knots over the, uh, the timber hitch for a hitch. So, once you have your timber hitch set up, just like so, you're going to take your diagonal post that you're crossing with, just like so, uh, essentially just making a cross with your posts, and you're going to make three turns around that post, just like so. So there's your first three turns. And then you're going to take it from the rear here. And you're going to go around the top post, crossing in front for three more turns the opposite direction. Just like so. Tighten that up, clean it up a little bit. So now you have that right there. Now once you have that, you're going to do frapping turns, which is just going to be turning around that main post three times. Make sure they get tight. And then you will wind up something that looks like this and the way you're going to secure this is going to be a clove hitch and since we're left here down at the bottom that's the perfect place to do our clove hitch um, again if you need help with a clove hitch please refer to previous knot of the week series just going to tuck a clove hitch in I kind of got messed up there. Let me try that again. Maybe I need some help with my clove hitches. Okay. So once you have your securing clove hitch down there at the bottom, you are essentially done with a diagonal lashing. So there you have it, the diagonal lashing. Um, one more little tip that I like to say is that you can definitely cut off the slack you have in the front and the back here and tuck those ends in. You don't have to leave this hanging out, obviously. But there you have a diagonal hitch with ITS Tacticals Now of the Week. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions and post them in the comments. Thanks for watching.